Well, spring is in full swing and we've got a nice dry weekend on tap. So a lot of pro people are probably starting to think about tackling that yard work. Oh, that pesky yard work. Yeah. Drew Carney is working his green thumbs this morning out and about at Bauman's Farm and Garden to give us a preview of the annual event known as Garden Palooza. Where are you at? Where are you at, Drew? There he is. OK, good morning. Bauman's Farm and Garden. Hello there, China. Good morning, Christine. Yes, uh, we are live here this morning getting ready for that Garden Palooza event you mentioned. Uh, before we bring in our first guest in the morning, I believe our director Byron Minger can throw all the Garden Palooza details onto your screen. It is a two day event this year. First time ever in its 20 year history, a two day event. So it's today from nine to five out here at Bauman's and then tomorrow again, they'll do it from nine to three. <clears throat> if you're not familiar, with Bauman's Farm and Gardens. Uh, they're right south of Woodburn in Jervis. I think a lot of our viewers will know this place as the fantastic home of the fall pumpkin patch. I uh, will talk more about that in a minute, but let me bring in first guest of the morning, Mr. Brian Bauman. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. Welcome to Bauman Farms. Ready to go. Yes. <laughs> two day, you better get uh, your, your Ooh, rest the in. The coffee is going, yes, we got it. Two day event this year. So this is happening now, yep. Garden Palooza for 20 years. You've hosted the last three years. Correct. Can you give our viewers an idea of like what this event is really all about in a nutshell? So I, I know a lot of different nurseries around the Northwest and it is awesome chance for kind of all of us to get together. We're all in one location. So you can get a chance to shop all of us all at once. And not only that, but you get a chance to interact, ask questions, meet people, even from the mom and pops that are gonna yep. be here, but the giant nurseries like Monrovia, Proven Winners, they have representatives that are here to answer your questions. So I wanted to ask you about uh, just really something that you do, because it's not just a fall place. You can come to Bauman's year round. And really, when you're not doing the fall pumpkin patch, you are really about a nursery. Right. And, and gardening. So talk about some of the things that you offer here year round that people can check out. Uh, during the springtime, Hanging baskets are kind of our thing. We have all these different hanging baskets that we grow. In fact, we grow a lot of the ones you see on South Waterfront of Portland. Those come from us. Um, and all those greenhouses that we play in in October, they are filled with plants and we grow thousands of them. So if you go that way a little bit and I go this way, we can kind of spread the waters and show off how expansive uh, the garden center here at Bauman's has become. They've added some seating here. I've never seen this before. It's way yeah. back in the background, but I think again, a lot of our viewers will know you as the uh, pumpkin patch place in the fall. But if you come out here for Garden Palooza this weekend, you're gonna notice a lot of changes and you're gonna say changes for the better. Absolutely. Uh, it's a better shopping experience, right? More room, it's not crowded, have a great time. There can be lots of people here, but you're still gonna be able to have a great time with your family. So if you have a gardening project that you need to tackle, this would be a good place to get it started this weekend. Again, the hours are nine to five today, nine to three tomorrow. Yep. Garden Palooza in its 20th year. So our plan here, China, Christine and Rod is to bring in the founder of Garden Palooza, a man by the name of Jeff Gustin. He's going to talk about the history of the event mm. and how this year's event is going to be bigger and better than ever. That's coming up at 545. Yep. Drew Carney is out of the studio this morning, wrapping up his work week by working on the farm. Lucky guy. He is live at Bauman's Farm and Garden in Jervis, giving <laughs> us a bit of a sneak peek at a local gardening event that's celebrating its 20th year this weekend. Hey, Drew. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Christine and Shine. You know, uh, Eric Patterson, our trusty photographer here on the Sunrise Show, finding it very easy to focus on the plants and the flowers here. I apologize that at some points in this segment, he has to show off my face but I will quickly disappear as we bring you the details on Garden Palooza. So we're going to fill the screen with that. We're talking about a two day event. First time Garden Palooza has ever been a two day event. It's today from nine to five, again tomorrow from nine to three, happening out here again this year at Bauman's Farm and Garden in Jervis, just south of Woodburn. Two key pieces of information on that screen. It's free to park here this weekend and it's free to check out Garden Palooza. Uh, I do want to bring in a special guest this time around, the man who actually started this event. Garden Palooza some 20 years ago. Yes. Uh, Jeff Gustin, a friend of the Sunrise Show. So Jeff, I think you better than I could explain what this event is really all about. So years ago, when the spring kicks off, there's all these new plants and there's a lot of small growers around the Northwest, and especially in Oregon. Oregon is known for these uh, growers of great plants. There was no way that they could all come together. And so we put together Garden Palooza so that all these small vendors could come that don't have a like a brick and mortar place for you right. to go and and present their plants and it has grown i mean we've been this four growing like a weed growing like a weed for four locations over the years bauman's has been by and far the best they have grabbed this event 
Um, I am retired, um, but they have grabbed this event and they have gone crazy. And um, th you can come out here. We're talking, you used to mark the seasons by covering sports yes. or whatever. For gardeners, Garden Palooza is the start of the gardening season. Now, I've never been retired before. <laughs> Can I suggest when you do go into retirement, yeah. you don't keep waking up at five o'clock in the morning? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, the getting up early part, I don't miss. How but, about uh, show and tell though? Real yes, quick, because yes. we're already running out of yes. time, but uh, Bowens is a great local name that we right. all are familiar with. Right. Proven, win uh, Proven Winners, a big national name right. that is involved in Garden Palooza. And they uh, basically are responsible for this hanging basket that just before the last commercial break, I said was unique, one of a kind. Can you explain how? So Proven Winners goes out, they find these small growers, they find plants that have, you've never seen before, different color varieties, different types of plants. They go out and find these plants, they grow them out, they bring them to the garden centers. So when you come to Bauman's, you're going to find plants like this, the Super Bells. This is a brand new plant that they, uh, Bauman's has this year. These are the looks that nobody else has. And so when people come to Garden Palooza, they're going to find plants they can't find anywhere else except here. You know, we have a weatherman like that who has a look that <laughs> nobody else has. Is that Rod? Yeah, that's Rod. That's okay, Rodney yeah. Hill. Uh, Jeff Gustin, again, the man who started Garden Palooza 20 years ago. The 20th event is this weekend, today and tomorrow, Bauman's Farming Garden.